and welcome i am raghav and today we are going to learn how to install chrome extensions or chrome plugin in catalon studio and there are two ways to do that we can do that at runtime we can install the extensions at runtime or we can also use some custom capabilities and then start testing on a custom browser with extensions loaded now this is going to be very easy and very interesting and in our automation sometimes we need to use a chrome browser which has some extensions and this is exactly what we are going to learn so in this video i am going to show you how to install extensions at runtime and in the next video i will discuss on the second way which is use custom browser so here step number one will be we have to get the dot crx file for the extension so on chrome for every extension we have a .crx file and to get the .crx file we have two ways way one is we can directly get it through a link or download it through a link so directly download from chrome extensions downloader so if i go to my chrome browser and I will Google here Chrome extensions downloader and this is the link I will also copy this link and make it available in the notes and all these notes will be available along with this video so here you can give the link for your extension and then click on download extension which will download the .crx file so if you go to your apps or web store on chrome and you can search for any extension for example i am searching for a extension called momentum and this is an extension which creates new tabs so if you see on my chrome whenever i go to a new tab you can see this background image and time and messages all this is because of this extension so I already have this and you can just go here and if you do not have the extension on the chrome web store still you can get the extension crx I will show you the second way but for now I will go to this link for momentum and this is the link I will copy this and go to chrome extensions downloader paste it here and say download extension and it will download a .crx file and you can see it is here if I go to my downloads folder and I can find it here so this is here so this is downloaded here so this is the very straightforward way one and in case you do not want to use a direct way you can always go to way two which is you have to open chrome and then go to extensions menu so here if you go to your chrome and if you go to this three dots here you will find a option for more tools and here you will find an option for extensions go here and it will open your extensions page and show you all the extensions which are already added to your chrome now here make the developer mode on by default it will be off so make it on so here you have to make developer mode on and then select the extension details so whichever extension you want you can go there and then select the details so for example this is momentum i will go to the details and here you will get the id so you have to copy the id and this id will be visible only when you have enabled the developer mode so you can just copy the id and keep it for reference so here we have to copy id and then go to chrome extensions folder on your system now in case you are on windows you can follow this on windows and mac both so if you are on windows then the path on windows will be you can go to your c drive so go to your c drive and here go to users and go to your user in my case it is administrator and after this you will go to app data now app data is a hidden folder and in case you do not find it you can go to view and say check this hidden item so then you will be able to see the hidden folders and go here and then go to local and here you will find a folder called google go here and here 
we have chrome user data and here there is a folder called default and inside default you will find extensions so you can see we have this extensions folder here if you go inside this folder you have all the folders for all the extensions that you have on your chrome so this is the location for windows and i will copy this here now make sure that uh, your username will be different from mine in my case it is administrator so you can accordingly select your path and in case you are on mac so if you are on mac so the folder location will be i will go to my finder and here i am going to press command shift and g key on my keyboard this is command shift and g and then you have to go to your users and go to your user so in my case it is raghav and then go to library now to go to your users folder a shortcut is this key or this symbol it goes to your users directory then go to library and after that you will go to application so i'm typing app and then i can type tab to get this auto completed application support and then we have here google so we have a google here so i will go here so let me just go here so you can see i'm here on google after this you will have chrome and after this you should be having a folder called default so you can see here we have a default folder and after default we will have the extensions folder so let me just see yes there is an extensions folder here and we have all the folders for our extensions and this is on mac so this was uh, on mac and let me also copy this path and i will make it available in the notes so this is the path for mac and of course you will change the username with your user and then after you have gone to the folder now here you have to search the folder with the same name as the id that we have copied so here search folder by id so the id that we copied from here this id i will go to my folder of extensions and in the search extensions folder i will copy this id and we should be having a folder with this name and you can see this is a folder here so this is the folder for momentum extension i will copy this and you can keep it or paste it copy it at any location i am just copying it on my desktop i have copied this folder so copy folder on desktop you can copy at any location and then the next step will be after this on chrome extensions menu you have to go to pack extension so here when you go to your chrome if you go to your chrome menu more tools and extensions you have this pack extension here so click here and then browse the folder that you just copied so i have my folder on my desktop and we have to go inside this folder and select this version number so this is what we have to select and then say select folder and we have to say pack extension so i will say pack extension and you can see it has added the .crx file on our folder so if i now go to my folder here you can see the .crx file is here so this is the second way and you will get .crx file created in the folder so this is the second way you can use any of the ways to get the .crx file and then we have the next step which is step number two and here we have to go to our catalon studio so i will say open catalon studio and create a new test case and then we have to add the code so here now i will go to my catalon studio and for this video i am using version 6.1.5 which is latest at the time of recording this video and i will go to test cases folder and i can create a new test case so i will do a right click here new 
I can directly create a test case or I can create a folder first. So I will create a folder by the name demo and inside the demo folder I will again do a right click and create a new test case and I will name this is test1 and that's it. So I have created a new test here and now I will go to the script mode. So I will go here to the script mode of this test case and here I will start writing the code. So I will say system dot set property and here we have to set a property for webdriver dot chrome dot driver and here we have to give the location of our chrome driver dot exe. Now you can either get your chrome driver directly from web you can download it. So if I say chrome driver dot exe download you will go to this link and you can see the downloads here you can get the latest or whatever version you want from here you can get it for your operating system or you can go to your catalon studio folder so you can go wherever your catalon studio is uh, installed or the folder is located and when you go inside your folder you will have a folder for configuration and go to resources and go to drivers and then go to the chrome driver so here you will find a chrome driver.exe so it is better you use the same chrome driver which is being used by your catalon studio so that there is no version issues so i will just copy this link or this path and here i will provide it here and also i have to give until chrome driver.exe so i will also copy this name and here at the end I will say chrome driver dot exe now here you can see we are getting an error and that is because we have to change the single backslash with either double backslash or a single forward slash now I always use a single forward slash because single forward slashes works on all the systems including windows but double for double backslash will work only on windows and it will break if you run this on a mac or linux or other operating system so I always use a single forward slash in the path so I will just change all the backslashes with a single forward slash and that's it and if I save this you can see there is no error so the next option is I will use chrome options so there is a class called chrome options I will say chrome options and I can give any variable name like options equals new chrome option and when I press control and spacebar on my keyboard it gets auto completed so that's it and because this is groovy even if I do not give a semicolon at the end it should work and then I will say options so this is the same variable name that i have used here options dot add extension so if i press ctrl spacebar i should be getting some auto completion so i will also press ctrl shift and o on my keyboard so when you press ctrl shift and o it will take care of all the dependencies so if there are any missing dependencies it will be taken care by ctrl shift o if you are on mac you can press command shift and o now i will say here options dot add extension so now I am getting auto completion so I pressed control spacebar and I will use this and here I have to give the file path so I will say new file and here I will give the location of the dot crx file so I had downloaded the dot crx file on my downloads folder so I will go to my downloads folder and I can see it is here so I just want to copy the location so I just will copy this location of downloads folder here and then I will also copy the name of the .crx file so I will press F2 and copy the name and I will provide it here 
and the same thing I will change all the single backslash with a single forward slash in the location string and that's it and now after this now I will say I have to use desired capabilities so there is another class called desired capabilities in selenium and all this is coming from selenium all these libraries chrome options desired capabilities are coming from selenium so I will say desired capabilities and I will press control spacebar and you can see it has also imported the class from here and I can give any name like caps equals new desired capabilities and now I will say here caps dot add or I will say caps dot set capability and here in the capability name I will say chrome options dot capability and then in the value I will just use this options and this is done so now we have set the capability and we have we are now we have added this extension as well with the help of .crx file so now I can say here web driver driver equals new Chrome drivers because we are using a Chrome browser Chrome driver and in the brackets I will use caps so this will set the capabilities while starting the Chrome and now after this so if I run this now if I just run this test now I'll run on a Chrome browser you will find a Chrome browser opening and it will have the momentum extension So let's just wait it should open a chrome browser uh, there is some error let me just check the error so i will also press ctrl shift and o on my keyboard just in case to check there are no missing dependencies so if i go to the log viewer here is a error uh, there is some problem in the web driver chrome driver so let me just check what is the problem here So it is web driver driver equals new chrome driver and I think it should be yeah it has imported the web driver here so here this is fine let me try this again I will save this and run this again and yes and you can see it has also added the extension momentum so it has opened the chrome browser with this extension added and now we can run our rest of the test now here one thing is very important now if I try to use the steps by using the web UI keyword here or the web UI class I can say web UI dot navigate to string or to URL and if I go to HTTPS let us go to any website HTTPS google.com now if I do this let us see what happens if I run this now let us see what happens so it should open a chrome browser with the extensions added and it has done that but you see it has failed and it has not gone to google.com and here if I see the log you can see this has failed and here is the stack trace if I go to the console here you can see it is not able to it is saying no such property web UI now for this what you have to do is you have to use this statement which is driver factory dot change web driver 
and here I will give my driver. So this is the driver which I am giving here and now if I run and check so now it should be able to navigate to google.com and there is some error let me just quickly check uh, I will again press Control shift o so that I get yes this was a problem I have to import this from here catalon dot core web ui driver factory and i will save this and run this again so now i can um, give my normal steps in catalon studio and i can run my test so now it should go there is still some error let me go to the console okay so uh, i think we have not used web ui imported so if i go to any other test or if i create a new test i create a new test too and if i go to the script mode so this web ui is usually imported by default so i will just copy it from here and go back to my test one and use it here and save my test and run it again so I'm not editing out all these uh, sections where I'm facing issues so that you can also see how we do troubleshooting and here you can now see it is running fine and it should go here and here you can see this should be running fine now so now everything is fine and you can see the log viewer this is running fine I will also copy this code I'll copy this code and make it available here in the notes so that you can refer it here is the code that you will need and then after this step 3 is run and check which we have already done so this is how you can use extensions and the next way that is use a custom capabilities or custom browser this i will discuss in the next video so i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching